Hi friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to continue our third implementation of the FSM design technique. If you would like to know more details on FSM, please go through my first video of FSM design technique. Link is given in the description. So in the third technique of FSM designs, basically we are going to use three procedural blocks to code the present state logic, next state logic and the output logic. So let's get started. So I have written the SDL code for the third technique of the FSM design. We will go through the SDL code. So we have the three inputs, cloak, reset and action and one output. We have a state register variable and the next state variable register. Then we have the four state defined using the parameters. Now our first procedural block two is to evaluate the present state logic. So when we are in the reset state, our present state is going to be S1 and when we are out of the reset, our present state will basically get assigned the next state. So if you see here, this procedural block is a sequential block. That means our present state logic is a sequential logic. Okay, let's move to the next procedural block. So in the next procedural block, basically we are going to code the next state logic. So whenever our present state, there, whenever there is a change in our present state or whenever there is a new input coming, now depending on the present state, our state transition will take place. So if the present state is S1 and if input is 1, our next state will be S2. Else, if the input is 0, the next state will be S3. If our present state is S2, which will happen when our previous state is S1. Previous state means in the previous clock cycle, the state was S1 and the input was 1. Then the state has transition from S1 to S2 and when now when we are our present state is S2 our next state will be S4 if our present state is S3 the next state will be S4 if our present state, state is S4 the next state will be S1 so this is the basically the specification of this FSM to travel or, bas or basically to move between among the different states. Now our third procedural block is for the output. So our output here is basically directly depending on the depending on the state which is nothing the present state. So again the output is depending on the present state. This is a Murray type FSM. And when the present state is S1, our output will be 1. When the present state is S2, our output will be 0. When the present state is S3, our output will be 0. When the present state is S4, our output will be 1. Now let's synthesize this design. Let's choose the UC synthesis tool. Enable the show diagram after run. Save the design. And give it a run. So this is the UC synthesis diagram for this design. We will go and see the output. So if you see the output, the output is also coming from a max similar to our FSM design technique too. So here also the output is basically the output logic is basically a combinational logic. The percent state logic will be a sequential logic. So if you can see that here, the state, the state is basically coming from the registers. So the state is a sequential logic 
and if we see the next state so our next state logic is basically so if you see in the design our next state our state will get the next state value so if you see here in this diagram this is our state this state will get the next state so the next state is nothing but but this d input and if you see this d input is nothing but this value and this value is nothing but this coming from this combinational blocks basically it would have a max but it is realized using the gates so basically this value is a combinational logic so the next state value is basically coming from this uh, combinational logic x so always rem remember in this kind of three uh, procedural block uh, fsm design technique the present state is a sequential logic the next state is a combinational logic and the output states is a combinational as well as it can be a sequential also if we can register the output so now let's go ahead and simulate this design to simulate this design let's select the aldec uh, Riveria pro simulation tool and enable the open epv after run and give error so let me uh, rearrange the signals okay so as per our design our output is going to be high when the present state is s1 or s4 so now let's see the behavior in the simulation so if you see here here our state is s1 so when it is in s1 the output is expected to be high when it goes to the s3 state the output is expected to be zero in s4 the output again becomes one then from s4 it transition into the s1 so in s1 also the output is supposed to be expected one the output is again one then in s2 the output becomes zero in s3 in s4 state again the output is high and then it transition to zero so in zero also the output is going to be high and so on so this basically reflects our fsm behavior hope it is clear if you have any queries please write down in the comment section if you like the content please hit the like button also please do subscribe this channel and enable the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever there is a new concept uploaded in, uploaded in this channel Thank you very much.